I believe they Welcome to Sarajevo. Today I want to take you on a little bit of a tour around the Old Town area and uh, then I got a couple of treats including a flea market and some abandoned military barracks we can check out. This little line on the street is the uh, Sarajevo meeting of the cultures. It symbolizes where the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Ottoman Empire met. On this side, to the uh, east, you can find mostly the Ottoman influence, uh, part of the old town. And to the west is the Austro-Hungarian side. Walking through the Ottoman side, you have all these little shops with uh, coffee, traditional Bosnian coffee. And on the far end of the Ottoman side is Pigeon Square. This is uh, loaded up with coffee shops and little trinket shops. There's even like little fruit stands. Uh, my favorite thing here is that they have all these kebab shops. Doesn't that look tasty? It's my favorite, uh, favorite treat when I'm traveling the world. And it just so happens that here they have some of the best uh, kebabs and durum wraps that I've ever had before. And another treat that you can find here is these dessert shops where they serve all these Ottoman-style desserts, including uh, baklava and stuff like that, which I'd never tried, but I decided I should just give it a shot, and man, it's delicious. Uh, supposedly, if you drink from this fountain, you will be back to Sarajevo. And uh, let's give it a shot. Oh, and you can drink from the other side, too. Walking down the west side of the cultural divide line is uh, quite a different feeling than uh, the east side. Much more modern looking and uh, much more uh, consumer oriented. When you're walking about the town, if you see this, like a little area of asphalt with some damage and some paint poured in there, that's actually a symbol that somebody was killed here. Um, those holes are usually where a bomb fell and exploded. They actually preserved these areas where these bombs fell and uh, filled it with red paint to symbolize the life that was lost there. This is the Latin Bridge where Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in 1914, triggering the start of World War I. The story of the assassination is kind of funny. The Archduke was on a visit here and he was uh, in his convoy going to the city hall. And somebody threw a bomb at the car. The bomb bounced off, nobody got hurt, he made it out. After the first attack, he decided to leave town and uh, they didn't tell the driver about the situation. He drove down here, had to turn the car around, and that's where he got shot. After quite a wild goose chase today, I finally found my first ruin here in Sarajevo. This is Tito's military barracks. Looks like they're piling up recently cut down trees here. Maybe to Try and make it more difficult for people like me to enter. Oh, freaky. Okay, all this wood is the roof. You can see that uh, above me is some of it. And uh, over there, the roof has uh, migrated to the ground. Watching out for nails. I got a tetanus shot before this trip though. You never know when you're going to need it. They really do not make this easy. <laughs> Doubt this is from Tito's time. I was just a frustrated university student. Cool spray painting though. All right, let's exit this one on this pile of wood if I can. Oh, watch out for the glass. I, I just asked one of the students here and uh, he did confirm that that was the barracks but he also said that 
all of the buildings around here are from that same time. That's just the most dilapidated one. Uh, the route that Google Maps gave me to get from the university over to the Siglane Market took me through some back roads and also through this tunnel. Well, here we go. I hope this is safe. This is pretty interesting. There's a cemetery all around this area. And then right down here is the Siglane Market. All right, this is it. Looks like a ton of clothing. All types of clothing that you can imagine. And some fruit. So this right here, that's the freeway overpass that I was just walking on. So they've uh, taken over the underside of it. Over oh, on. Oh, they got a fish market. some dried meat here. That looks really delicious. It smells great. This looks like herbs, nuts, noodles, sweets, more nuts, chocolate, prunes. I love this uh, restaurant's logo. It's a uh, Casper Pizzeria. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh, oh, it's because they're right next to the cemetery. Man, what a bad joke. <laughs> 